Hello friends, in this video we will discuss the differences between king post truss and queen post truss. So let us start. A king post truss contains a central vertical post that is utilized in architectural or bridge designs dealing with tension to support a beam underneath from a truss apex above. In case of king post truss, a single vertical post extends from top to bottom which is called as king post. On the other hand, queen post truss is defined as a pitched roof support provided with two vertical tie posts connected between the tie beam and the rafters. These two vertical posts are called as queen posts. Components You can see in this picture, the king post truss consists of king post, tie beam, two principal rafters, struts, ridge beam and purlins. Whereas the queen post truss consists of two queen posts, two principal rafters, ridge beam, struts, tie beam, straining beam, straining sill and purlins. Here we can see two queen posts, straining beam and straining sill are additional. Otherwise rest of the components are same as king post truss. Span range. King post truss is used when the length of span is in the range of 5 to 8 meter. Whereas queen post truss is used when the length of span is in the range of 8 to 12 meter. So it provides extra reliability for wider roof designs. Straining beam and straining sill. In case of king post truss, straining beam and straining sill are not necessary. Whereas in case of queen post truss, straining beam and straining sill are used to keep the queen post in stable position. Design In case of king post truss, the top ends of two main rafters are connected to ridge pitch. Whereas in case of queen post truss, top ends of two main rafters are joined with the queen post's heads. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.